Yo, what's going on friends? Welcome back and welcome front. In today's video, we are going to combine the Junkie on Crash Bar with the Armorizer Magnus. Um, I'm going to start taking them apart as I walk through this, but yeah, I just wanted to say welcome, 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 especially if this is your first time. And if this is not your first time, you certainly have my gratitude and I appreciate you being here. Um, if you follow the channel, you know that I'm not a huge fan of these particular armorizers. Um, oh, I take that back. I'm not a fan of their um, building gimmick. I am a fan of the Magnus figure by itself. I think it's phenomenal. The paint is incredible. The details, the sculpt, everything about this figure, I absolutely love, um, except for its building capability. And so I just want to um, get that out of the way, put that out there let you know that I'm not some sort of like random hater. I only hate for very specific things. And um, yeah, I can appreciate him for um, all of his other uh, great features, except for the build aspect. Uh, and the particular build aspect that I'm not a fan of is the fact that this figure just doesn't really come apart. The torso doesn't come apart, you know? It, um... Sorry. Um that you, you just have these like random little bits that come off. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like, see, I, I stressed it already. Um, it's unfortunate over here. But, um, but yeah, like, like you can see me re removing these parts, and that's all great, handy dandy. But the fact of the matter is, like, it doesn't really connect to anything else. It's fine that it comes apart, but the whole point about it coming apart is the fact that it should be able to come back together with some other pieces, and this guy doesn't. So you just have this big slab of a rock thing that doesn't do much. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to fumble through this build because this is hot off the hot off the presses. It's a fresh out the oven, and I don't 100% remember how I did it, and so... Um, but yeah, we'll just kind of go through memory. So these are the feet in the front of the shins, and we're just going to combine them, uh, and then we're going to put them together. That's a pretty tight fit. I can <laughs> maybe I should combine them separate. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So we have that, and then we are just going to plug that in there. And this is going to plug in on the back. And we're going to plug this in at the end. It doesn't really serve any type of functional purpose other than just kind of aesthetics. Um, and you'll see that some of the components, the combining components that I use over here are um, recycled from uh, some previous builds. Um, I just got Magnus. And I don't know if I'll be able to make more complex things in the future. But... Um, for the time being, this is what I have. Dude, he, he looks so cool. That's why it makes me even, like, sadder that he's just not really a great build former. Yeah. One of the things, uh, one of the take the drawbacks about this figure is that, like, if you look at the Junkions, they have this great, like, things vertically and horizontally connect. There's a vertical and horizontal component to this. These guys only have these horizontal components. Like, you you can't plug this in directly here, which is just really, really sad. Like this, they could have just made this a port or a peg. And instead, now it's just this very specific rectangular slab that only connects to the shin of the robot. And that's just pitiful, in my opinion. Um, so in order to connect stuff, you have to utilize these bits, which are arguably the most... Um, the most functionally like effective piece on these armorizers and then we're going to get that and we are going to let's see i gotta remember how i did this and it may have been something like It's, some, it's something like this, but I gotta get this. I gotta get the spacing right because right now they're, the clearance isn't quite working. Okay, I think I did this. Yeah, but then that leaves this unsightly gap, and you can kind of flip up the peg there. Um, and yeah, I believe I did this. 
And this thing that I'm using right here is um, similar to what I tried to do with detritus when you like fold the legs back, but I do, do, do not like this um, gaping cavity over here. And I could, I wish I could do something about that, but um, whatever. Then we have this bit, same deal. Like this one's a little bit looser and um, maybe I'll just add a tiny bit of paper just to get the fit a little bit tighter. But at the same time, I don't want to stress it because that outer piece of plastic is pretty thin. Um, and one of them, even though I didn't add any paper or anything like that, it already has a stress mark on it, but whatever, dude. And I believe it's just like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. You're just going to kind of fiddle with it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'll try not to have them squeak like so. And, you know, I know, I know, I know. Maybe I could have kept this one on over here because there's a, there's a tab on the outside of this gas tank, but it does fit inside the hollow cavity over there. So it's not, it's not too bad, but here, maybe. Let's re let's reverse them. Not a great way to connect the legs, but it's the only way, or at least only way that I've discovered. <laughs> this thing's annoying. It's all like moving around over there. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, and again, I really dislike that gaping hole back there, but whatever, dude. They're just toys, my boys. All right, that's better. That's better. Okay, so we have the legs, right? And damn... Um, I think what I did is I added the crash bar arm over there and then I added that into the shoulder and then I think we have that. And again, this is also something similar that I did, uh, that I did, uh, what is it, for detritus, utilizing that entire crash bar arm as this, um, as this, what is it, as like this giant club arm, and I think that's okay, I think that's okay, and, uh, then we add the saddlebag to there. And you see the arm is coming together. Then you can just use this bit to create this nice little um, shoulder design. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Doesn't take away from the fact that this still sucks in terms of how the, leg, the legs connect. Um, <laughs> it's just really, really, just, I don't know why they decide. Sorry for that. I cleaned my table again, and so it's that, that's why it's squeaking so badly. Um, okay. Now, what did I do with this arm? What did I do with this arm? I think I did that. I bent it like that. And then I think I did something. Hmm. Let's see how this looks. Uh, 
I'm not exactly sure if that's exactly what I did. Oh, oh, I see. Maybe I did that so that it gives him a um, an elbow bend and things like that. I may have done that. And then we plug that all over there. And they're actually about the same length, uh, which 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 kind of works out. Um, and then I may have taken this this entire piece, and I I I think I did this. I have that over here. Then we add that over there. Then we have that back here. And he's not standing straight, which is a little annoying. Lots of little little annoying things add up to big annoying things. <laughs> now what to do with these orange bits? I wish I could somehow use it to like hide. Nah, that doesn't look good. Uh, that's not terribly hateful. What I'm doing is I'm trying to basically distract you from looking at <laughs> the big hollow gap and cavity on that leg. Um, you know, I'm wondering what were to have. So, okay, so he looks like this right now. Not horrible. Not horrible. Not horrible. But what were what would happen if if we just kept the shins plugged in? Let's try that. And there's this very strange smell in my office right now. It's not a bad smell, but it doesn't like my office smells like me because um, <laughs> I inhabit this place. But um, I don't know if it's all the new products, the new toys that I have right now, but yeah, there is a foreign smell over here. It's, again, not bad. It just, it's a foreign smell. All right. If I have that in there like this, and because uh, if this foot is here, yeah, there's not enough clearance. So if I move that back, okay, that's better. That's better. Um, then I got to negotiate kind of like the way the foot works back there. So the leg looks better like this without the shin from, from the side and the back. But with the shin, it does um, fill out that hole. So I think I'm going to do that. So you got to sacrifice a couple of things. Here, let's get that in there. Let's try it. So we've done that. This video is longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Hoping you're still here and watching so that I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> if you're here watching, can you just say what's up in the comments so I know? that some of you are still here watching this deep into the video, just be like, what's up? Um, all right, that's better. That fixes that unsightly gap between the knees. It, it does make the back part busier, but like I said, I'll, I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade. I mean, it does make him taller, too. It does make him taller. Now, then let's say this. All right, that just fell off. <laughs> that can go back here. And this is still a loose goose connection that I do not enjoy. Hold on. 
Oh, I gotta get the tire to go down. Oh, interesting. The tire doesn't look that bad up here, but it just does, it does make this thing, like, huge. Um, and so if I want to hide that, it's either going to look like this, or it's going to look like this. I don't know which one I prefer, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do that for now. Yeah, that's not bad. It makes it quite... It, it's pretty secure, actually. And then we'll put that back over here. And that over here. Yeah, that's not the most hateful thing in the world. Sorry, 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 sorry. But now we got to figure out what to do with this. Um... I mean, this is kind of supposed to be like a face palm, like a like a fist and a head, but I suppose we could add that there as like kind of like a crossbow thing. Hmm. I don't know where I'd put these. I mean, I suppose like these things we could, we could just figure out. And I don't think it's worth the time to try to figure out where to put all that, because this is going up on a, this is running up on a twenty-minute video. But you know what I mean? It's like it's, it's 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 at this point I'm just kind of like placing them at random. I'll probably find a better place for them somewhere. But for the purposes of the video, I'm not going to waste my time or your time fiddling around with that. I'll do that later for the short. Um, but here we go. Here we go. That's our guy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Crash bar, Magnius. And that is what our dude looks like. Not terribly hateful, but still a little bit hateful. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate y'all watching and being here, especially if you watch this video until the very, very end. I do appreciate y'all, okay? Um, I'll talk to y'all very soon, and uh, more videos where I complain and gripe about these um, armorizers. All right, bye-bye.